and you are watching my channel book junction in today's video i'm going to review the book the courage to be disliked and there are a lot of things that i want to discuss about the book so without wasting any more time let's get started with the review so have you ever found yourself in a situation where you were not able to say no to someone for something even though you wanted to and then later on you end up cribbing about this entire thing because you wanted to say no but you couldn't because that's the kind of person you are you just cannot say people no even though you want to and honestly it has happened to me so many times where i wanted to say no but i couldn't because i just can't at times and then later on i just crib about it i complain about it because obviously i don't feel good doing something which i didn't want to do it keeps happening with me time and again and i just couldn't understand why it happened with me so much and so often but after reading the book i now understand why i used to do that why i used to say yes even when i wanted to say no out loud so why is it that we say yes to people when we want to scream no on their faces the thing is we feel like we don't want to say no to them because we don't want them to feel bad about it and you know because we are such great human beings we are so nice we are so virtuous and we just can't see people sad that's what we say to ourselves to console ourselves about this entire fiasco but actually that's not the case i always used to think that you know i am a kind person and i am a good person and that's why i don't want someone else to feel bad about something that's why i say yes to people no matter what even if i don't like doing something so i never say no because i am a good person but that's not really the case that's utter rubbish that's garbage that we feed ourselves because we are too afraid and scared to actually face the truth the truth is we hate being disliked by people so obviously when we say no to someone there are chances that they will feel bad and when they feel bad they might end up disliking you and you cannot bear the fact that someone can dislike you you want to be liked by everyone maybe it's not a conscious thought but on a subconscious level everyone wants to be liked no one wants to be disliked by people there are very rare people who are completely okay about being disliked and i feel like they have reached the kind of place in life that is absolutely unprecedented because for me it's very difficult to face the fact that someone dislikes me i just can't handle it because i want people to like me maybe not like me but at least not dislike me you know so whenever i get this feeling that someone is disliking something about me or something that i did it just really <laughs> takes me off and it's something that happens with a lot of people so i guess it's okay so this is the entire point of the book this is the main theme of the book why this book has been written to make people understand that it's okay to be disliked and we in fact need to grow courage to be disliked by people because only then we will be able to live a free life that's what freedom is you are free when people dislike you and it doesn't bother you because honestly someone somewhere will always dislike you no matter what you do and i did realize that after reading this book and even before like obviously no matter what you do no matter how good you are to people no matter how much you have been for people someone somewhere will always end up disliking you because that's just human nature and that's just inevitable now this book is written in the form of conversations between a philosopher and a youth and this philosopher uh, believes in the philosophy of adler so you will get a lot of references of adler's philosophies and if you already follow adler's philosophies then you would know better but i had no idea so i didn't know anything before uh, reading this book about adler now the book starts with this conversation between the philosopher and the youth where the philosopher tells the youth that life in itself is simple but people make it complicated and the youth does not agrees with this point and hence he goes ahead and argues with the philosopher and then their debate or argument or uh you can say the conversation continues and then they discuss different things and there were some parts that i loved so much that i feel like it did make a huge difference in the way i think about stuff now and i feel like 
there were some parts that will actually affect your mindset in a very very positive way so i will share some of it uh, in this video otherwise the video will get too long but i would love if you actually stick till the end and listen to the entire thing because it will definitely help you even if you don't go ahead and read the book this particular part will help you a lot in understanding your nature and just human nature in general so there is this part where the philosopher talks about our system of punishment and reward now ever since our childhood the entire system is created in a way when we do something good we are rewarded no matter how small the reward is even if it's a candy you get rewarded for doing something good or behaving in a certain way or achieving something but you are again punished for things that are not good in the society's eye or if you don't perform well in your exams or whatsoever so there is this entire thing of reward and punishment so that's something with which we grow up and it does affect us in ways we can't even fathom now the thing is when we were children we were rewarded for the smallest of things you talk to your guest properly so you get a candy you said something nice you recited a poem well so you get something and you are always rewarded for things you also get punished but you get rewarded much too often so that happens when you were a child but what happens when you grow up and you become an adult the rewards go down you don't get rewarded that often and even if you get rewarded it's not as happy a feeling as it is as compared to when you were a child so when you received a reward when you were a child it was much more you know a happier feeling than what you feel now as an adult so the reward thing is something that you crave for but you don't get it as much as you would want to and even if you get it it doesn't make you as happy as you would want to feel now after discussing this entire reward and punishment thing the philosopher goes ahead and talks about our need for recognition and validation from people so this entire thing where we want external validation is a much talked thing in today's world because we are all on social media we all post so much and we want to be liked by people everything is all about likes shares and you know comments and even comments have this um feature of either being liked or disliked so everyone is looking for likes everyone is looking for recognition everyone is looking for validation and where do they seek this validation they seek it externally no one is seeking validation internally and that's the issue now there was a time when people believed in god and people believed that if they did something good if they performed well if they were kind to others god was seeing them god was recognizing their efforts and hence they would you know get heaven or whatsoever so they believed in god's recognition and they were seeking for validation from god and as we all know that god resides inside us so they were actually looking for recognition and validation internally so now our world is structured in a way that we are always seeking recognition and validation from other people because we have substituted god with people so now since god is not in the picture who will give you the recognition who will give you the validation other people will because other people people are watching and they are the one you seek recognition from you seek validation from so when you do something good you want other people to see it and whenever you do something good for other people to see it's not done in a good taste and whenever you seek something externally there are chances that you might not get it and when you don't get the recognition and validation you end up feeling destroyed you end up feeling sad and uh, people also get depressed because they don't get enough recognition and validation from the world we also see so many videos on social media where people are doing charity or people are helping someone and they are also recording it and showing it to other people now i don't really think that it's a crime to show people that they are doing charity i guess it's okay but there is always this need for recognition maybe you did something good for someone and no one saw it's okay you did your job right but no we always need that recognition now obviously after listening to all of this the youth asks the philosopher to tell him some solution to all of this how can he grow this courage to be disliked and how can he uh, get over all of these insecurities and all of these problems and the philosopher does helps him he does gives him some ways and some answers now the thing is were those solutions actually useful 
so i would say yes and no both there were some answers that the philosopher gave and they were amazing i felt like yes if i apply that in my real life i can actually get the advantage but there were some solutions that the philosopher gave that were too impractical or maybe they were practical but i could not understand the meaning but yeah i felt like they were too theoretical for us to actually apply that in real life so yes that was one thing but i think overall the philosopher in the book tries really hard to make us understand that life is actually very simple and most of the solutions of most of the problems are very simple but the thing is to execute those simple solutions we need to work really hard on our mindset and uh, that will only happen eventually when we keep analyzing our feelings our thoughts and understand why we do certain things so there is no quick uh, way to fix things there is no quick shortcut that you will apply and uh, you will get the answer that's not how things work so basically what we have to do is whenever we do something whenever we act on something we need to sit down and understand why we did that and actually be brave enough to confront ourselves when we know that we did it and we think that we are doing it for a certain reason but actually there is something else that is um making us do this so i hope that i made sense even i am like still thinking about the book now yes there were some things that i did not like about the book as much so especially the conversations between the philosopher and the youth they were good all over but sometimes the conversation felt too made up and um you know like too fake and uh, you don't want to feel like that when you are reading a conversation you want to feel like it's real only then you will be able to believe in it and because the youth gets really agitated over things over and over again so some topics are stretched beyond uh, limits and that's why it does gets boring at times when the youth keeps getting agitated and keeps arguing and uh, yeah it also feels made up in those places so that was one thing that i did not like about the book but overall i feel like the book is actually very useful especially if you are a young teenager to also i would like to mention that the writing style is very simple um the sentences are framed in a very simple and easy way the english overall is very easy for anyone to understand so if you are a beginner and especially if you are a beginner in self help genre then i feel like you will definitely enjoy by this book but if you are someone who has read a bunch of books on self help pre then you may find some topics that you have read in other books as well so that is possible so keep that in mind if you want to buy this book all right guys so i really hope that you all found this review valuable and uh, helpful if you did then definitely like share and subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me and click on the bell icon so you are notified with all the updates and i'll see you in my next video until then Bye bye